Welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly, your tech savvy business mentor here. And this week, we're going to take a look at a newer power up that was just recently released by Blue Cat Reports. Now, a lot of their power ups have a tendency to be premium where you have to have an account with Blue Cat. Uh, but this one, I don't know if it's just because it's new or um, if it's going to stay this way, but at the moment, it is free. You do not need to have an account. And what's really cool about this one is that it allows you to export a Trello board into Excel. And that's something that um, you can't, I mean, you can natively do that within Trello if you have a uh, premium, but like, see how, when I come in here, this is a free org that I'm in right now. The export is a CSV. I have to upgrade in order to do that. Um, a JSON would be a totally different kind of file. And that's like, it's, it's not one that you'd be able to open and utilize really. It's not going to look like, uh, like a spreadsheet, like you're expecting. So being able to download it into or export it, I should say into a CSV or an Excel file, um, sometimes comes in really, really handy, right? Especially if you need to just kick out the information to, send to somebody else or whatever, and you don't necessarily want to give them access to the board itself. Um, but just for lots of reasons, for backup, for storing your data, storing information down the line, um, be super, super helpful. So what we're going to do, if you don't already know how to add a power up, we do have a video on that. I will link it up above. Um, but you can simply come right here, click to power ups, and then add power ups. And then we're just going to go ahead and do a search. You can see right here, we've got exports for Trello by Blue Cat. So let's go ahead and add that and see, you can see right here, it says export your data from Trello free, which is awesome. Um, so one, one click export or pay for scheduled exports. So paying for scheduled exports would only be useful if you needed like a regular uh, backup of your data. If you were worried that somehow it would get cleared out or that somebody might um, you know, if you're sharing the board, you're worried that somebody might accidentally delete something or wipe it out. Um, basically, that would only be something where if you're updating it super regularly and you just want to make sure you always have a scheduled backup, then you would do that kind of export. But um, if it's something where you just want to export it to have on hand, like let's say um, a contact sheet or, um, or maybe you're just going to do manual backups so that you don't have to schedule it and pay for it then that's awesome. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and add this power up. And we're going to try this out. I have not tried this yet. So um, we're, we're going to try this out together for the first time and see how it works, see how easy it is. So we're authorizing. You didn't see the pop-up probably that just came up, but I got a pop-up that's making me allow or deny. And then, okay, so we're configuring. Configure your export lists and schedule below. When ready, you can use the actions to the right. Okay, so choose the lists you want to export data from. Well, on this particular board, I mean, this is a training org, so I don't have a ton of information here. Actually, let's just do them all, right? Um, let's find out how it comes out if we literally export the entire thing. Because honestly, I could see myself doing that uh, more often than just a particular list. Um, this is where if we wanted to schedule, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to do a one-off. Um, <laughs> you can see how it's kind of made that difficult for me to see, but that's a different kind of, I think that's just an ad for, um, Blue Cats, one of their other, um, products. So we're going to go ahead and just download the CSV. And because I don't happen to have Excel on this particular laptop that I'm on right now, we're going to go ahead and drop this into a Google Sheet. So um, this is a totally different kind of tutorial, but if you don't know how to do that, uh, you would just create a blank Google Sheet. You would come to File, Import, and then we're going to Upload because we're coming from the computer. And we're going to go ahead and grab that CSV file. It's going to bring it in. And then let's see. So import location, replace spreadsheet, detect automatically. Okay, so let's just see what it does if we just do it um, without changing anything. And we could do we could do different things, but we're going to go ahead and just leave it like this. Import data. All right, so it's automatically creating 
for us. Okay, so this is based on the card name. Oh, interesting. That's cool that it pulls labels, although I didn't use any labels on this particular one. But um, I'm a little confused because daily hot list. Okay, so let's go look at our um, board itself and try to make sense of what it just did. Okay, so I'm going to open that back up too because we did bring that in. So, oh, that's why, because, <laughs> okay, so what I didn't realize, this is very good for me to see because recently um, I had done a video showing how to automatically create a card with a specific checklist um, using scheduled automations. And apparently I forgot to turn it off. And so it has been creating this for us every day. So it's good to show you right here. If you watch that video, which I will link above, if you watch that video, um, it works because it's still going. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off right now because I don't want it to keep doing that. That was just a specific uh, tutorial that I was doing. And so it's good to know if you if you create an automation, make sure you remember to turn it off. Um, oh, here we go. It's it right here. So I'm going to just disable that. OK, so that'll stop happening. Um, I'm going to have to go through and clear all of those out. But it does explain why on our export, we had so many of those. Because I was thinking to myself, I I've only got one card that says that. Why do I have so many? That would be why. So it just proves uh, schedule automations, they work. Um, but make sure, yeah, make sure you take turn them off. But okay, so it's giving us the card. But what I don't love is that it's not giving us any of like the information. So like if you were to click into the start here card, see how you've got this description. Um, attachments, I didn't expect it to give us because realistically it's not gonna do that. But the description, I would have thought it would have given us um, a like a column here with the description so that we would keep the information because really, I don't really need the name of the car. I mean, I do, but like I, I need more the description on the card. So that's kind of interesting. Let me just go in one more time into, uh, into this power up and let's see if there was something to do with the settings. Oh, this is like, if I wanted to, okay, well, yeah, it's not what we're trying to do. Okay. So back to exports. So let's go ahead. We're going to we're going to test something. So I'm going to go ahead and take all the rest of these off. We're just going to look at how to use this board and then and it says you can use the actions on the right. Well, that's I mean, this is the only action on the right, right? Um and then this is just going to show us other yeah, another power up. So okay, so uh, hmm if I'm honest, like, I feel like it's, it's a good start. Um, I don't think it's a hundred percent really there because what good does it do me if it doesn't bring me the information that's on the card? Right. I mean, that's, that's kind of the point of why I would want to do it. So for right now, I would go ahead and say, um, not yet. I mean, unless you're literally just creating cards with like the name of things, but until they, start exporting in the actual data that you need, um, like the description and things like that. I, I'm not sure it's really worth a whole lot at this point. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you find this useful? Do you think um, you would have a use case for this where it, it's only showing you these bits of information? Or um, do you agree with me that like you kind of need more than that? Um, I want to try one more thing, though, just to make sure that this is not um this is not like my bad in some way so we're going to go ahead and insert we're going to create a new spreadsheet yeah okay and instead of detect automatically oh no i'm sure that's no i'm sure that's right I, see i was thinking that maybe there were columns or something that like there was a way for me to choose columns but no i think it's it's just only giving you the card names and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm not sure this is 100% there yet, but it's an interesting start. Um, and it's cool to know that there's a potential for this kind of capability um, without needing to have Trello Premium. So let me know what you think.
And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated or overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.